the winner of the ingredient of the year is the Ferrari of vegetables, the Honey Nut Squash. Is the Ferrari of vegetables, the Honey Nut Squash. There's two types of ingredients in this world, delicious and disgusting. Inside each and every one of you, at the very core of your being, is deliciousness waiting to be awakened and unleashed upon the world. Thank you. The Black Futsu Squash is my Little Miss Sunshine. And if Little Miss Sunshine taught us anything, it's that beautiful personalities are often disregarded because their individuality doesn't fit our status quo. Off the, off the Little Miss Sunshine soapbox and onto the Black Futsu Squash. With a complex topography that suggests rugged character, it may be an odd looking vegetable. But behind the bluffed blue and orange ombre exterior radiates a glowing flesh that brings earthiness, sweetness, and comfort. This is an heirloom Japanese pumpkin in season from early fall, and they will store all the way to the start of spring, making them a workhorse for the winter months. I found these at my local farmer's market, a dollar a piece, a pile of other well-known squashes selling for $2, $3, and even $4 a piece. And still, nobody, nobody was buying the black futsu squash. Flavor that is reminiscent of roasted chestnuts, hazelnuts, and pumpkin, the futsu lends itself to a very luscious, creamy texture when cooked in one of its many versatile applications. When you cook it, it really amplifies that flavor. It's more complex and nuanced than something like a butternut or a kabocha squash. It has a really, really thin skin. It would be a misnomer to peel it and throw it away. You're wasting your time, wasting your product. Don't do it. It does provide a little bit of a bite, but I think that contrast is actually pretty nice. Now that we're in the kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to roast the black futsu squash. We have our main ingredient, we have our essential ingredients, and we have some extra credit. Cut your squash, peel the seeds, then quarter it. Get a bowl, place them in there, salt, olive oil, vinegar, lemon, herbs, and that's all you need. Put it on a baking tray. Pretty. 385 for an hour out, ready to plate, and at this point, my battery died. I'm really sad about it, I didn't get to plate. For extra credit, I added pumpkin seeds, comte, parsley, pomegranate, and then I also added a little bit of pickled nasturtium flowers from my garden. The black futsu squash is many things. Unique, unappreciated, scrumptious, if there's one lesson we can take away from our Olive Hoover of the day, I think it's that every ingredient is beautiful. Every food has the opportunity to be delicious if you're willing to invest a little bit of time to get to know it. I was curious enough to kind of break the ice and see that why is this $1 and it's become one of my new favorite vegetables. I implore you to get a little curious the next time you're at the farmer's market or the grocery store and seek out the ingredient that you're not so familiar with and try cooking it at home. See what you can come up with. Now. I'm going to give the Black Futsu Squash a flowing score. For visual appeal, I give it a 3 out of 10. For flavor, I give it a 9 out of 10. Aroma, 6 out of 10. Fun factor, 4 out of 10. Individuality, 7 out of 10. Ease to cook, 8 out of 10. Versatility, 9 out of 10. Practicality, 8 out of 10. Accessibility, 1 out of 10. Value, 10 out of 10. That brings us to a final score of 65 out of 100.